Edwin Landseer Lutyens, a tremendous architect and one of my very favorites, who lived between 1861, 1869 and 1944. And this is Hethcote in Ilkley in Yorkshire. He did use local materials, but didn't always see why he should. You know, if he wanted to use a different type of material, he would. So again, he's going against Morris principles. He showed he could very much mimic the best in the business and then play around with the forms. And all the best architects, of course, know what the forms are and what the grammar is, particularly with classical architecture, and play around it to great effect. So here is Hethcote and Ilkley, his first full-blown classical design of 1906. So it's just pretty much contemporary with what Edgar Wood was doing at Upmeads. In 1903, he wrote to Herbert Baker, in architecture, Palladio is the game. It is so big. Few appreciate it now, and it requires considerable training to value and realize it. The way Wren handled it was marvelous. It means hard thought all through. If it is labored, it fails. It is a big game and a high game. So you can imagine um, what Morris and all that lot would have thought of Palladio. And Lutchins here is putting Palladio on a, on a pedestal. Um, he really felt that towards when his career was at his great success, no pressure to adhere to local building traditions. And Ruskinian and Puginian ideals were being completely eroded. Um, Lutchin said, would Christopher Wren, had he gone to Australia, have burnt his knowledge and experience to produce a lame marsupial style? Not very politically correct, um, but I think he's saying here that, you know, come on, chill out, let's create something, you know, fresh, new, but looking back to the past. 